Forget about active versus passive. Should your money manager be a real live human being or a robot? More firms are using so-called robo-advisors, automatic financial, or automated, pardon me, financial services. And there's one estimate anticipating $300 billion in robo-advising assets under management by the end of 2016. John Stein is the founder and CEO of one of these firms, Betterment. John, welcome. Good morning. Great to be here. So let's talk about robo-advising. I find it fascinating, this idea that you can effectively outsource your money management needs to, an, it's an algorithm, really, not a robot, right? Right. How does it work? Well, this is kind of realizing the dream that many of us have had for a long time, which is just to have our money managed for us in an automated way, optimized even better than we could do it if we did it ourselves. Sometimes people think of it as robo-advice versus human advice, but that's not really the right comparison to make. Most Americans have no advice, and it's really robo-advice versus nothing. Most people are getting no advice today. Uh, the idea, though, or at least the whole principle of robo-advising is that, um, or the, the foundation for it is that passive, right, is better than active, right? That's a piece of it. It's, there's a lot more to it than just creating a portfolio, though. Understood. With, with, but if you hand over money management to an algorithm, it can't really outperform the market, can it? It can if you factor in things like taxes and behavior and how much you should be saving. All of these kinds of things that are actually what matters most in investing, way more than if you're active versus passive. How much you're but saving the products by themselves far the most are passive. thing. Most of the ETFs that we use are passive. Most of the robo-advisors I think that are out there would be using passive ETFs because they're low cost. For, for Betterment, we look at all the data, and all the data says that passive outperforms active net of fees on average and over time. Now, why then turn to a robo-advisor instead of, say, just putting, you know, 60% of your money in an index fund? from Vanguard or, uh, you know, an index ETF from, uh, say, BlackRock, and then find another a fixed income ETF and putting 40% of your money in there. So just portfolio creation is the easy part, right? That's kind of a commodity. Anybody could come up with a three-factor, three-fund portfolio, and, and, and there you go. We do so much more than that. We give you holistic financial advice. We take into account your Social Security benefits, your pension if you have one, all your outside accounts. We tell you how much to save in your Roth IRA versus your traditional IRA, how much to put into your taxable accounts and your 401k. All of it is then automated. We have things that automatically look at your bank account and tell you if there's an excess in there, it'll sweep it automatically into your investing, all in one package. How much money do you have under management right now? We started the year with a billion. Today we have over $3 billion under management. And by the end of next year, you expect customers. what? Boy, that's a, <laughs> let's say three times what we have now. All right, John, we thank you very much. John Stein is the CEO of Betterment, a robo-advising firm. We'll be back here.